another summer day on the lake. There we go. But this is no pleasure cruise. Okay. With support from the National Science Foundation, lake ecologist Jasmine Soros and her team from the University of Maine are plying the lake waters of southwestern Greenland, gathering samples of diatoms to study how climate change is affecting this Arctic ecosystem. A diatom is a type of algae, and it is different from other types of algae because it has what you could call a glass cell wall. They're gathering water and mud samples from lakes around the edge of the Russell Glacier. Saros is particularly interested in diatom population dynamics, how different species thrive or falter under changing conditions. There can be early indicators of environmental change. So those silica cell walls basically can be deposited in sediments and we can look over thousands of years and see which diatoms were there in the past. Greenland is an ideal place to take these samples because the Arctic is warming at a relatively fast pace compared to other parts of the globe. Even so, the water is still frigidly cold here. And wet socks are a daily hazard. But Saros' research shows diatom populations respond to more than just rising temperatures. When temperature increases, you can see a change in how productive plants are on the landscape, and that can have implications for lakes as well, because plants secrete organic material that drains into lakes, and that affects how much light you'll see in lakes. So there's, there's several different ways that climate change can affect lake ecosystems. It is a long, cold, hard, miserable day in the field. But when the field work is done, the work is not. Because of the nature of this science, there's a lot of work to do in the lab. Each night, they filter out the diatoms and culture them under a mix of different temperature, nutrient, and light conditions. But Saro stresses the work isn't just about diatoms. She's focused on the broader picture. When we look at changes in diatoms in these lakes, it's not because we're so focused on the fact that, you know, oh no, diatoms are changing, what's going to happen? It's the, the bigger implications of that. Using diatoms as a tool to better understand how environmental change affects lake ecosystems. For Jasmine Saros, it's well worth the long, cold days on the water. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.